In this video, we completely revisit Lakewood Ranch. Why is it the best? Why is it number one sitting here in August 2022? The geography, the neighborhoods, the lifestyle, and everything in between. Hope you guys enjoy it, adds you a ton of value, and let's get started. Real quick, what is Lakewood Ranch, Florida? What you have here is a massive master plan suburb that is Southwest Florida base. 50 square miles, 33,000 plus acres. You have 30,000 plus residents, about 32 different villages that you can buy a home in, 250 to 1500 ish homes per village, 19 of them you can still build in. This area that's behind me here is bigger than the size of Walt Disney World. 150 miles of lakes and trails, a home type for everyone from a villa to a townhome to an apartment to a massive custom home. Needless to say, there's something for probably everyone if you like the style and you like the location. In the next few minutes, we're gonna get into all the nitty gritty. Okay, let's first talk geography and location. So Lakewood Ranch, Florida, like I mentioned, is in Southwest Florida, but greater context wise, where that puts you is about 60 miles south of Tampa, Florida, about two hours north of Naples and Orlando's east and inland. So it's about two hours from Orlando as well, three and a half from Miami and three from Boca Raton. So interesting overall in town itself, you're about nine to 11 miles northeast of downtown Sarasota. But what's cool about that, it also puts you less than 20 to 45 minutes from Anna Maria Island, Siesta Key, Longboat Key, Lido Key, and Venice. So all the thing, the great things about Florida coast that this has to offer, you're in a stone's throw distance. All right, now let's talk neighborhoods. So what you have here is about 32 different neighborhoods, which they call villages here, to pick from. Now, these are all built from 1994 to now. So the oldest house in this entire thing was built in 94, which is pretty interesting on in its own outright. Of those 32, there's about 19 of them that you can still actually build a new home in. Whether that's the end of a phase of a mature community that's in the middle with, let's say, five or six years left, or that's brand spanking new, coming soon, hasn't even released yet, right? So a lot of options there. Size-wise, you have everything from 1,100 to 1,400 square foot villas that are attached just to one piece of property. You have townhomes with loose rental restrictions that might be you know, 2,500 square feet, a little bit more affordable, but in a turnkey sense. You have full-on custom homes like you know, behind me, like Arthur Ruttenberg or Lee Weatherington, where you, you literally do a Pinterest board and you pick every option. You have golf, you have not. So really a full spectrum of every different family model I think would fit here in at Lakewood Ranch. So when shopping for a home, folks are typically going to find themselves in one of three buckets. And the first one being from Fruitville Road to State Road 70. That's gonna be closer to the Sarasota town itself, closer to the beaches, a little bit more luxurious from an option standpoint in an overall sense, but also mixed with the original, all the original three, four main neighborhoods that were built from 95 to 2005. The second one is gonna be built north, but west. So that's when they went north you can save a little bit of money. It got a little bit closer to the high school and the good school districts. It was a little bit more affordable because you got north, but you stayed west. So you're right close to the interstate. It's not bad to get to stuff. The third one and the newest is where you go northeast. And that is going that same vein of going north to save a little bit of money, but all the land was east. So they're duplicating what they did in the past. And that's where you're gonna find some golf communities where they have the space. You're gonna find the newer family friendly where you could build a home and you still have seven, eight years to build. So typically wherever you hover, what you're gonna end up doing is probably end up in one of these three buckets. All right, and finally, just to add a little bit more value, I wanted to give you a speed round of a favorite short list of communities per lifestyle bucket to get your research started. The first one I wanted to do is let's talk new construction and families. Three that I would look at to get you started. Sweetwater by MI Homes, that's above State Road 70 in that new Northeast section. Right above that, I would also look at Star Farms, incredibly interesting, like a city of its own and a little bit more affordable. And then on the lower side, the closest community in all of Lakewood Ranch to town is called Windward. Now, Windward is Neil Homes. It is the most affordable in that district by far. You'd wanna be cognizant of the high school rating, but beyond that, up to eighth grade, unbelievable. Okay, now the direct inverse. Let's talk no kids. So three of my favorites on the no kids list, two are lower and one's upper. So the first one is the one I'm standing at right here, and that's Lake House Cove in the Waterside District. Homes by town, really high end if you're not doing custom. I think the value is sneaky, because although it's not the cheapest in the world, it's way cheaper than the custom builders that they put in the same community. And you can see it's boathouse centric, $300 a month or less for this whole amenities. That one is uh, really interesting. Second one is right down the street. It's called the Isles. That's Toll Brothers. It is, again, really high end if you're not doing custom, normal amenities, normal fees. But I think the build quality of the homes and the level of homes you can get without the minutia of picking every option, interesting. Third one is I would go to the north and I would look at Esplanade Azario, the golf community. Even if you don't golf, they have probably the best amenities in both counties combined. 
They have a 16,000 square foot restaurant, full bar service at the pool with food service. They have commercial gym, they have a salon, unbelievable, right? The social HOA is only 380, and then for 600 a month, you have deeded golf, 800 total homes can golf in there, world-class golf course, so those would be three on my list for no kids. Okay, next real quick is affordable resale homes. This one, my favorite thing to do is stick with the first communities ever built. They are very underrated. Summerfield is one, first one ever built. Unbelievable location, $100 a year HOA. No amenities inside the community, but you can walk to a park from there. And these were when all the custom builders actually built the first home. So these are really nice homes. They're just 20 years old. Second one is Greenbrook, similar vein. No amenities in the community, but they have communal amenities, low fees, nice construction. Third one is a recently closed one, and that's Mallory Park. That is up by the high school. If you buy a home in there, probably the oldest home in there is less than five years old. Incredibly kid-centric. They deck out Halloween, deck out Christmas. You can walk to the middle and the elementary school from it. Okay, two more real quick. This one is 55 and older. The 55 and older communities, there's only two. So that one's simple, right? You have Del Webb, which is a Pulte brand, and you have Crestwind, which is Coulter, who does a lot of luxury condos. The thing is here, there's only two options. I would say about 55 and up. I get it, if you like the brands, that's a great option, but also the average age in Lakewood Ranch isn't 30, right? So your need of what you like from 55 up, I might wanna step back and say, what do I, what do I like it for? And that might be fulfilled by many communities beyond just these two. Okay, and the last one is for golfers. So Lakewood Ranch looks like it has a thousand golf courses. It really doesn't. You have just a few options and these are them. First one is Country Club West and East. That's in the lower grid of the district. Three private golf courses, but then you also have the Ritz-Carlton outside of it. I and mean, Legacy is a public course also outside of it that all work together. And this one is an enforced membership, so it's an optional membership to join. Then you have Esplanade Azario I mentioned earlier. This is your classic deeded, you know, half the community has it, half doesn't. That's more privatized. Esplanade Golf and Country Club, is Esplanade Azario, but built three years earlier. So that's Taylor Morrison again. And then finally, you have Lakewood National. Lakewood National has the number one and the number fourth ranked course on Golf Pass or something. That is Lennar Home, so a lot of affordability. And that one is also deeded, but every single home in the entire community has that deeded membership. Real quick interruption. Thank you for joining us once again on the Florida Relocation Guide, your smartest way to relocate and or invest in the entire state of Florida. Two quick important items. First, if you wanna buy, sell, regardless of your timeline, invest, anything in between, please consider using my group. I think you'll find not only my analytical approach, but our macro team approach and the way we connect unique. Secondly, if you haven't downloaded my Florida Relocation Guide, please check that out. It's mostly Sarasota Manatee, 30,000 foot view. We update it monthly or so, it's digital. You can download it, print it, flip book, everything in between. Without further ado, let's hop in. Okay, now let's talk shopping and dining. And the low hanging fruit is really the three major town centers that are at your disposal in the general geography of Lakewood Ranch. And the one I'm standing at right now by far is the newest, the most in vogue. It's the guy right now, downtown Waterside Place. This is like nothing, this, this is very unconventional for a suburban community. It's a proper downtown that would usually flank a city. Mixed use space, shopping, dining, recreation, end to end lifestyle. Where I'm standing here on phase one, you can get a really good sense. So behind me, Good Liquid Brewery. You have Duck Donuts right here, which is a franchise. That way you have a children's splash pad. Um, you have green space, you have volleyball sand courts. Kilwins, the dessert place over here. There's an Italian trattoria right here. O&A Coffee down this street. And you can see here, 25 foot long si with wide sidewalks. Um, there's cornhole. It's, um, it's a place that you could go to and you wouldn't feel like you needed to go downtown anymore. Um, and there's much, much more beyond that. It's commercial space, it's retail, it's shopping and it's dining. And like I said, it's not a little podunk suburban downtown. This is a proper downtown. And it's something that I haven't seen maybe ever, but definitely not in the state of Florida. All right, the second major town center in Lakewood Ranch, Florida is really where I stand here. And that's downtown Lakewood Ranch. You know, this isn't quite as big as Waterside Place, but it's got everything you need, traditional suburban downtown. You know, you have seafood behind me, you have multiple sports bars, you have an Italian um, trattoria, you have sushi, Mexican restaurant, Starbucks, there's ice cream. It's very safe for kids, wide sidewalks. There's even putt-putt golf down here. So um, this would be your other major one besides Waterside that people think of, and this is a little bit further north, so it's more in the middle of Lake Ranch itself. 
All right, now let's talk actual activities. So I'm gonna give you kind of a sample platter that'll give you a good feel of what the area has to offer overall. So a good example to start off with is the street I'm standing on right here in Waterside Place. Uh, they do a farmer's market every Sunday morning. And this isn't like a couple tense little podunk farmer's market. We're talking a full on vendor fair. It's spread out, it's comfortable, it's clean, it's safe for kids, all that has to offer. Beyond that, there's a multitude of other things they do to get people involved and come together as a community. You know, they do sand volleyball in the courts out there um, at different times. They do yoga for every spectrum, yoga for kids, yoga on the lawn, yoga for teens especially, right? So you could segment that out. They do live music every Friday. A lot of times during the right season, they do it on Wednesday as well. And then even if you didn't want to come to like a timed event, right, you're busy. There is, you can see the outside environment here. You could grab a beer from pretty much anywhere. Walk along here, you can play cornhole. You know, I have two kids under five. And talk about a place that you could come to and not worry about like a bunch of street traffic and a bunch of craziness. You know, I think that's just a few to mention that would give you a lovely, lovely overall lifestyle. Okay, beyond that activity wise, another one that you really wanna check out is, happens right here in downtown Lakewood Ranch. And that is First Friday. They basically block off all the streets to drive through traffic. It's open container for alcohol on the street. A lot of the restaurants move their tables out on the street and you can eat, you can conversate, you can hang out. There's live music, it's very fun, not overburdened with people. And then beyond that, you have like running and biking clubs, you know, like Village Bikes here um, has one of the top rated uh, road biking clubs that exists and um, called uh, Village Idiots. So you have stuff like that. So whether you run, you wanna do yoga, you wanna bike or anything in between, um, I think there's something for everyone. All right, another thing for activities is outdoor recreation. So this is an important one and unique to this district. You have nearly half of the land that's set aside for green space and open recreation. And what that allows for is 150 miles, literally 150 miles of bike lanes and trails that are public use. You have nine different public parks that you can go about for variety or just lifestyle. There's dog parks. There is literally like a, like a skate, like a hard court skate for hockey or rollerblades or whatever. There is a multitude of playgrounds. They're all safe, they're all clean. So I think if you wanna get out and about, whether that's even on a golf cart, um, there's a lot at your disposal. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to mention for the activity section was unique. And you can see I'm standing here in front of the Sarasota Polo Ground uh, sign. And you know, Lakewood Ranch is an enigma because you know the way I described it, right? Huge master plan, all these neighborhoods, right? It seems like a like a village of blah blah blah, a bunch of platted houses. But more than half of this this area is set aside for conservation already existed. So where they put this new section, they do full on polo matches with the horses right here, you know, in Lakewood Ranch around all this kind of stuff. So you do get the semblance of a little bit of country mixed with brand new construction, which is incredibly rare for the state as a whole, so um, unique overall. Okay, on to education options. So here you're gonna have, just like everything else, the full spectrum. You have everything from daycare, even through college level, you know? So you have, you know, if you're up in that North District to the West, right, you have Golet Elementary, you have Nolan Middle, you have Lakewood Ranch High, one of the highest rated public districts in the entire state. You go a little lower where I'm at here for public, you have Tatum Ridge Elementary, you have McIntosh Middle. You go a little bit to the West, you have Braden River Elementary, Braden River Middle. But then you have specialty, you know, Montessori, schools galore. You have like behind me here is Outdoor Academy. That's a private, um, a little bit on the bougier side of high school. So then location doesn't matter, right? And then there's a dental school. There's multiple like college facilities that have a headquarters here. So um, again, you could really have kids at any age level and this orient your lifestyle well. All right, my friends, that does it for this episode of the Florida Relocation Guide. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe before you leave. If you're buying or selling real estate, please email info below here or give us a call. If you wanna be involved in our Monday newsletters, incremental to anything we're doing here, a lot more lifestyle-based stuff and interviews and all kinds of stuff, email that same address. And thank you again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.